Okay, folks, basically, it's still pretty much, we haven't been, you know, I don't have footage, so I can't confirm, and that's what it basically, I don't know if that's why NASA's dragging their feet, and now, hey, maybe today, you know, I got my date lower right-hand corner all the time in the time, Central Standard Time, maybe NASA has disclosed that that's what that comet was, everything like that. I don't think it hit Venus. Uh, it could have hit something by Venus, but no matter what, Venus put a... Uh, atmospheric explosion out into space and you can't miss it it's out there all the time and you've seen it in the videos it's just kind of hanging out there in space on the red backgrounds okay uh, what what I'm gonna do is basically show that we it's hard to fit a lot of stuff in here now we pretty much figured that and then we've got ice on coming in like I've showed you and I'm gonna take you to JPL okay and that's our current solar f and here's your distance from Earth right now of basically ISON, okay, not just from NASA, showing you basically out here in space, and then the Uranus and Neptune are out the back door here, as you can see the map over here, and we zoom in over here, you see, now we got Mars, in the video I was showing you, we don't have Mars in there, okay, you're not going to get it in that shot, Mercury we're not going to have in that shot either, because Mercury is basically behind, directly of Venus right now, okay, and then you got Saturn out here, so basically, and then we got Jupiter up here, okay, underneath the ice on writing, okay, but basically that's it, the yellow node right there, okay, that's Jupiter, okay, so basically, four, five, you can't count Mars, just forget about Mars, you can't, but we know it's that one of the eight, Okay, so we just want to have seven planets, but when we were looking at the footage, basically, I'm going to finish giving you the JPL. You just got to be very understanding, not till November next year, and it's coming in, and it's ISON, okay? The most thing is DA14, I'll show you that map in a second. Now, when ISON, where it's at right now, is there, okay, in Jupiter, okay? When it comes into Earth... So bring it back down to here, and I'll bring Jupiter up and stuff like that. It has currently, today the 19th, grabbing the wrong deal. It is past Jupiter's orbit tail. Okay, there's Jupiter in the right-hand corner by the date. Okay, but when it goes back out, it's going to be going across or in front of Jupiter. I'm not sure. I'm not worried about playing it forward right now. But it's going to be not going in the directly the same over top. And this is going to be a little that direction. Whatever you want to call it. Okay? Without technical terms. And then I keep it simple. You know, shade tree mechanic stuff here, folks. So anyhow, it's going to come back around when it goes by the sun. It's not going to hurt Earth not going to be the distance close to Earth or anything. The only thing you want to worry about the distance to Earth. Now, this is going to be November of next year that ice on going to come around. But it's going to be huge like this comet that didn't come that close to Earth. But it, but DA uh, 2012, uh, get the name, numbers all mixed up. Now, DA 14, that's the one that could, could possibly, I mean, it's going to be hella close to Earth. February 13th through the 16th of next year, okay? Had this up, I gotta get this unloaded. And basically, I already showed you that basically a long time ago they quit watching it and then somebody else picked up the information and started watching it again. Somebody kept it underneath their wraps for a long time that it was gonna be close. And this comes down to 16,000. This figure here is 16,000. 16,854 miles from Earth, okay? That there. So I keep on re being repetitive and on letting anybody, everybody know, but you got to know that that's going to be the closest and screw this map because basically it's been hanging around too long. I found this object there, and let me zoom in on that real fast because basically I just popped this up into the full window, and this popped in. And uh, I got this in that footage, and then basically uh, I can go back to this, and I got a map. Any questions for Soho's orbits or anything about Soho satellites, please go to Soho Beacon. They can answer any of your questions, okay? I don't have time in my videos. ISON's going to be around November next year in 2000.
and 13 okay in February okay we got to be be alert of 2012 it's going to be the closest thing in your lifetime your kids lifetime and if you got grandkids that are alive it's gonna be the closest thing's gonna ever come by earth okay that's of massive size massive enough to do some kind of damage okay uh, other massive things that have went by September something or whether like at the 21st it was sometime in September or whatever that uh, what is known to be her has went out and went around uh, the Sun okay it followed Elenin okay uh, DA 14 13th February 2013 through the 16th is when it should be the closest but somebody in NASA opened up his mouth and said honestly something about the 13th so that's a three day notice to let everybody know that oh, it could hit earth and it's not going to do anything damage it's only going to do a damage within probably a hundred miles of wherever the hell it would hit okay plus yes thousands of miles it could maybe make some water do something uh, I, it, it's just basically it would hurt something in the area that it would hit if it could hit I doubt it it's going to hit it's going to be 16,854 miles out what kind of magnetic will pull and stuff like that what it would do when it comes around we don't know we've got the 21st coming up the Mayan calendar blah 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 the worst thing that happens if they know more than anybody knows is the idea that we could have some days of darkness or something because maybe the meatball which the meatball is out there and I've showed you in my videos maybe it could get in front of the sun and deflect the light for a while and have us have freaky light and that would freak everybody in the world out and make them think the world's coming to an end doubt that that's going to happen it's just there's odds out there that the meatball could do something since we're in a weird pattern of it I'll take you a shot of meatball in a minute the energy on the green videos I'm going to keep showing you those I don't know if I have time for freshness of that today uh, I think I spelled there wrong. So, yeah, I spelled it right. There, there, okay. And basically, what I meant on that is the planets that we're finding that NASA knows they're there, and they probably know other things that we can't see, but since they're taking a very good look. And then holding back the movies. Sechi movies are still down today, folks. You can't go to Sechi movies. Now, the reason they gave it Condition 6, which was pretty high, because we know that the highest condition would be 9 on this C2012 V4, okay, this is our item that's basically currently, right now, is here, okay? And basically, I can start to give you the cloud action, which is back here. This is its path that it's going to go out past Mars and then it's gonna arc up and take off and go away okay the blue is where it's already traveled this came between for you know over top of Mercury and Mars like that you see it came over top and right now I'm gonna show you the tail action of this comet right here because I had it in my last video but it was a pain in the ass that I put it up that we're gonna go to it here and I'm not messing up with any order there because I can skip that and just go down to here and where you're going to see it at is right here. You're going to see the tail mist of that. And that was what was in the last video. And maybe I've screwed up. And there it is. See this mist? And then that, that is the tail portion of that comet coming by. Okay? As I go like this, and I've learned to stay up here so I keep that out of the way. Now we go this far back, there's nothing really there. Now bang it's starting to come in there is the mist of the tail of that comet huge okay this was a huge damn comet ladies and gentlemen it was straight up a big ass comet and as I just play here you're gonna see it now watch right here and I can just bing it back and forth and you'll really So if you can see with your own eyes, right there, 
but that came by. Now, did they tell you? Nobody told you crap about this. There's all kinds of people saying bullshit comments at my deal saying that I'm saying that there is four suns. No. I said that there's a physicist that said a long time ago that's dead that said there's three suns in our solar system. Okay? Three suns in our solar system. Okay? He's dead, but he knew it. Okay? And then we got this coming by. It's the closest thing anybody in any of your family, grandfather alive, grandmother's alive, great-grandmother's alive if you got one, in your lifetime, in your kids or your grandkids, is ever going to come by Earth. And everybody needs to be aware, the 13th through the 16th, okay? The NASA guy even mentioned it early, okay? This is the comet that came by, okay? We ain't worried about that. I just showed you the footage on that. ISON is not going to be anything. It's just going to be what religious or anything can pull off anything with saying that there's another sun or God's coming or whatever the heck's going on, okay, with this here, okay, because it's going to be huge, it's going to be big and bright, just realize how bright this 2012 V4, go back to the tail footage, now the difference is you're going to see, you're going to see, for two years you're going to see ice on, okay, it's not going to just be this me showing you on the footage from out in space from a telescope, okay, this was just a small comet that came by. Ison's going to be huge and it's going to be bright. Okay. So, all the energy on the green shot should pretty much be the super giants. Okay. We found planets. Okay. That's going to be the next video. I'm going to go to it a little bit now. Now we've got more than the known. The Okay, because they're showing up. Either that or for some goofy reason we're able to see Pluto, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus. Okay, because check this out. Now remember, the arc of this comet that they really didn't tell us about too much, okay, it's got a massive distance between us and Earth. But it's going to be around a, a while too. Now remember, Ison's going to be visible for two flipping years, okay? You see this? It's going to be out the back door of Earth for a long time. In the darkness, you're going to be able to see the damn thing. So... You're going to be able to see that for quite a while. Now, the sun's over here. Is this the comet? This is Jupiter. Okay? It's not Mercury. Now, the reason we found planets is because if you count... Okay? And then Jupiter. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? But the idea, you can't see them in this shot. So in the next video, we're going to go to this fresh footage that we've got from the 14th, and we're going to pick out every planet, okay? Because basically, even sitting here right now, I can point at them here, okay? We've got the four we already know there. That's five. And then I ended up showing you this is six and seven and eight, okay? But Mars is not in this shot, okay? Mars can't be in this shot, okay? So we got more than what, and they always say, forget Pluto, you don't count Pluto. And then we can't see Neptune in, the, in this either. So keep in mind when Ison comes in, it's still going to be coming from the same direction. Jupiter's going to be moving in and keep going basically counterclockwise. Everything here moves counterclockwise. Even Venus, even though Venus rotates a different direction, okay? Saturn does. Everything rotates around here. This is just currently on Ison. But Ison's not going to chain, you know, it doesn't go with these planets. It basically is going to be coming from out any constellation, any place. But it's coming in the direct path that it's coming, okay? So you want to keep watching JPL in, on ice on and keep watching. It's going to be around for two flipping years. It's going to be huge and it's going to be, everybody's going to be, oh, God's coming or this and that or whatever, okay? Now, keep an idea of this map and also I'm going to use JPL and we're going to get from my recent pictures, okay, we're going to get H1A and all the planets that we have out here, okay? The whole video is going to be on this, okay? Because basically there is more because remember Mars is not in this shot remember the Sun's on this side and the Sun is hitting all these planets okay the Sun's on the other side of the satellite or behind the solar panel does not matter it's not in any of these shots Mars ain't there so you're gonna do the counting and then keep all of our topics in mind that we I have found this for you and other people on YouTube have found this here comment there Ison's coming, DA-14 is very imminent, and you should be aware of that. NASA's not telling you about the other planets in our solar system, and we got green videos, we got energy from the supergiants coming to the